Hey everybody, this is John Phillips. It's uh, Saturday morning. <laughs> and I've, uh, I'm heading out to do this garbage disposal for a guy down on Siesta Key. Beautiful place. Uh, anyways, uh, I usually stock a couple Badger 5 garbage disposals and a Pro 750 on my truck but I haven't worked a lot in the last six or seven weeks and I thought I had a Badger 5 on my truck and I don't so I called the guy and I said hey you know I got a Pro 750 on my truck I'll give you a deal on that uh, he said no 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 I just want the cheap one and I said well I'm gonna go buy it at Home Depot which it's the same garbage disposal it's just uh, I pay more for it at Home Depot than I than I do at the uh, supply house so I'm heading to Home Depot I'm gonna pick up a Badger 5 hopefully it comes with the cord on it uh, if not you know I like to buy the one with the cord on it uh, makes it a lot easier um, but anyways, I got to go pick that up and bring it to his house and put it in. Then I got to do a, a main line or kitchen sink stoppage and uh, then go change out a, uh, a main shutoff valve on a house just uh, and take off a 288A. It's not really required anymore. Look at this chair. Fucking all my different color here. Fucking red and blue. Uh, anyways, yeah, so that's the plan. I'm on the move again. My truck's good. My brakes are working. No fucking grinding. Uh, we're doing it. We're back in the saddle, my friend. Anyways, uh, yeah. Let's get her done. <sighs> Alright, so... This garbage disposal I was supposed to put in for this guy on Saturday, a new customer. I didn't have any on my truck. I couldn't, my, my guy at the supply house who's normally there on Saturday mornings, he's hunting in fucking North Carolina or somewhere. And uh, so I called the guy and I said, listen, I'll go, I'll take the hit. I'll go to Home Depot, buy your garbage disposal, the same one that I would supply and uh, you know I'll honor that price that I gave you it's my fault I didn't have it on the truck but I get to Home Depot the fucking Badger 5 at Home Depot with a three year warranty uh, half horsepower without a without a cord is about $50 more than I pay for it at the fucking supply house and I was like, I'm, I'm not taking a $50 hit on a garbage disposal. There ain't that much fucking money in them. Especially on Saturday. I'm already taking a hit doing it for straight time, you know. So I called the guy up and I said, listen, man. Here's the deal. I'll do it Monday. Because uh, I'm not going to take a hit like that. You're gonna, I'm going to give him a good garbage disposal. And uh, Home Depot's got a little fucking racket <clears throat> with their garbage disposal pricing. They kind of dip in, you know. I mean, that badge of five, they're selling it for 150 bucks, somewhere around there. Uh, and they ain't paying more than fucking seventy dollars for that thing. The way they buy them, so they're making a shitload of money on just selling the goddamn things. And. Uh, more power to them but um so anyways i'm gonna go do this stoppage get, get my neighbor going and uh maybe head over and do this uh main shut off on this house the uh it's not a big deal the people are up north they inherited the the town home or condo i mean villa and uh i'll probably get it monday yeah, that's uh, the ever-changing schedule, guys. And always sucking something. Yep, that's the plumbing business. You gotta be flexible. <laughs> yeah, I usually.
usually have them fucking things on my truck, but all that time off, I, I fucking used them and didn't replace them. So, oh shit. Alright guys. Hey, this, uh, this looks familiar, this neighborhood. Yeah, I love it. Love it when I get get the service calls on the circle. There's a vent right here. Whew, I can smell them new brake pads. Yeah, look at this vent, man. <laughs> Barely up out of the roof, man. Good morning. I'm, I'm videotaping. Okay. So don't incriminate yourself. <laughs> I'm looking at that vent right there. Yeah. That's pretty low. They usually, you know, they're supposed to be six to ten inches above the roof, but. Jim, you want to say hello? Yeah, hi. How are you doing? Good this is Jim. You. He's oh. Tell him about Colonel Sanders. <laughs> Who's this I'm talking to? You're talking to my YouTube channel. Oh. <laughs> Well, uh, those days are over. Yeah, this is this is <laughs> Mr. Actually, the uh, the whole uh, old days are over for everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How many Kentucky Fried Chickens did you have? Well, at one time, our whole family, when we were all together, we had about a dozen. Wow. Between managers. That's some finger licking. Good chicken. Well, you got a big those, dip in your roof. We, or we what? got out of it in 2007, just in time. Is that a dip in your roof right yeah, there? Yeah, well, we added on um, oh, back okay. in the 80s, and so, uh, and we uh, increased the slope over the back part of the house. I get it. All right, well, let me, uh, let me get my stuff, and we'll get up here and get okay. you knocked out, all right? Okay. Let's, uh, let me go inside first and see what's going on. Yeah, okay. Because it may be just in the, in the waste arm. I don't know. Uh, it's been this way for quite a long time. It's not, you know, horribly bad, but, you know, I thought I may as well get this thing addressed. Wow, look at this thing. Can you turn that light on? Yeah. Okay. Let's see how fast it takes to fill up. That'll let me know. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it does. And then uh, after it does go up, then it takes, you know, like seven minutes for it to bring it out. See how, see how this is taking a long time? That's telling me that it's not in the waist arm. You know, way down. your stack is either on the left or the right side of this. Well, it goes, it goes that yeah, way? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so the fact that it's not backing up is telling me that the stoppage is under the slab. So I need to go up on the roof and get that. But I'm going to let it back up. And, uh... Well, I don't know that it goes 
I think I do. I mean, it's a long, just a lot of water. When was the last time you used this sink? Did you use it this, this morning? morning? Oh, yeah. And it backed no, up or not? Here, 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 here. And I'll show you how to get to get it. Because if I, if I stop to stop, I'll show you how long it takes to get it out. <coughs> I mean, I'm assuming this is... Huh. You know, it's behaving because you're here. But very often it's... You know. <laughs> so when I get it filled up to here, you'll see how long it takes. When you pull the stopper out? Okay. Uh -huh. Well, that could be... See these... You know, what happens with a sink yeah. is you get a, a vortex. Mm -hmm. The water spins down there. Right. This actually, this cross and the and the uh, pipe in there, is actually a vortex eliminator. Okay. So you don't get that siphoning action mm -hmm. when it's full. Mm -hmm. I've had, you know. Of course, it's going to behave because you're here. You yeah, know, it's you draining like a champ. Yeah, it's coming up here a little bit. Yeah, but that's probably just because of the piping down here. Okay. <clears throat> Oh, no. Oh. Yeah, all right, let's, uh, it's, it's okay. I need to run it. I got this electric weed eater, and I was having problems with it charging, so I took the battery and the charger down to the base hardware yeah. the other day, and they plug it in, and they say, oh, it's working fine. It's the first because it's in the hardware. Are you losing your scruples or what? <laughs> yeah, okay, so then, the guy, Bob, he works on all this equipment down there. I've got to film you. you okay. You're an interesting guy. <laughs> Tell the story. Anyway, so, anyway, so uh, uh, Bob uh, finally admits that this charger is not working for this electric battery for this uh, reader. Okay. And so he, uh, he finds there's a couple of little holes in the cord. And he asked me, well, did you staple the cord to the wall or something? I said, no, I did not do that. Right. <laughs> and so where those little holes came, but anyway, so I did have to buy a new charger, 60 bucks. But at least it was hardware. Yeah, yeah, at least it was cheaper than the battery. The battery for that dang thing, oh, 99 bucks. Batteries for power tools have gone through the roof. I don't yeah. buy them unless they're on sale. Well, no and I don't need power. I don't need battery operated crap anyways. Mm -hmm. I'd rather have a power tool. You know, yeah, to be I've, honest I've, with I've, you. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've got. Jim, I don't know, buddy. We're not getting any water back. You know. Well, yeah. Here, I, I got to fill it up for early. Okay. Uh, it's so if if this is the only way it backs up, why don't you just stop doing that? 
you know, we gotta well, go through all this to get it to back up. Let's just stop I, doing that. I, I, I believe in some conditions. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. That's no problem. Get some dinner. Uh, then if you just sort of, you know, wash oh, yeah, them off yeah. with soap, you don't have it. No, I, I do the same thing. Yeah. I, I just don't like reaching my hand down in there. Yeah, I understand. Well, talking about the restaurant business again, of course you had to have a three compartment. Three compartment, yeah. yeah. Okay, so. All right, so. All right. So these are polar basket strainers, mm -hmm. and you don't like them. Mm -hmm. Imagine that. I think you said that it is not maybe the best. They, uh, it's all over-engineered, and you mm -hmm. know, they just, it doesn't take much for them to go south. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't, I don't push polar at all. Uh, so what's the better brand? I like mowing myself. Uh, oh, yeah. Cole has got good sinks. I mean, I like these sinks. Mm -hmm. uh, but faucet wise, I don't, this stuff is just, you know, they use for the, like the set screw on, on uh -huh. this faucet uh -huh. would be the absolute smallest Allen wrench, uh, Allen wrench that you mm -hmm. could find. Yeah. And after three weeks of that being in use, you'll never get that out. Then gotta drill it out. Yeah, it's just a pain. Yeah, it's it's not designed it's for yeah. to well, be easy. And well, every, so, so many things. Uh, yeah, and not not planned designed to be repaired, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah planned replace. obsolescence. Yeah, replace is what it. it is. It's replace obsolete it. by the time you, yeah, you know. replace it. All right. Hmm. So, hmm. what's going on today? This is really strange. Of course, this is not stopping, as you can see. This is. Right, but that's a separate issue. That's a that's just the darn basket problem. Yeah, strainer. Mm -hmm. mm. Well, this is interesting. Yeah. You know. It is. You know how much I get paid by by the hour? Yeah. I'm sitting here for 20 minutes already watching the sink fill up with water and then we rain. He's like, okay, shit, I... <laughs> let's get you moving. <laughs> oh, gosh. Now, this is a legitimate problem. I don't know anything about the star pop-up drains, but uh, this thing will just... Uh, We don't work. Yeah, well, you, yeah, you gotta fiddle with it. I don't know why. There it goes. All right, so you can unscrew it. I did that. I, and you gotta take all that gunk out of there. Yeah, how do you do that? Um, go yeah. grab your toothbrush. My toothbrush? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> why don't you go watch that sink so we don't overflow the okay, water? No. I'll clean, I'll fix that. Okay. I don't want that other sink. Turn that water off and then go watch the kitchen. No, <laughs> this guy, he's funny as shit, man. Fucking character. He looks like he should be a... <clears throat> should have been in the fucking Wizard of Oz. You know? The fucking... We've got some some nastiness here. Fucking ugh. It's a uh, dental floss. Somebody's been flossing and why would you wear gloves? I don't know. I just don't know why would you wear gloves. 
kidding? Fucking joking. Vessel sink. A little bit of nastiness. But keep draining. Keep draining good. Yeah, it's popping up and down better now that it's clean. Hey, kid, kid, I'm tough, I got tattoos. <laughs> that was an old saying when I was growing up, we were kids, little punks. Look at that baby. Uno downo. Okay. Okay, they're sitting there. I fixed that in there. Oh, the other thing. So you just have to put a brush. Yeah, like I unscrewed like I you saw me unscrew yeah, it and then I just cleaned it all off. I oh, got everything okay. clean. Okay, so it's pretty it, Yeah, put it back together and it's popping off the way it should, so okay, okay. Okay. all right. Okay, so now let her rip. So let's see what happens. Of course it's gonna drain. It's backed up, Jim. Mm-hmm. See? That's exactly the problem. It just takes so long. No, 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 no. It's backed up. You did it, man. Yeah. It, it took a while. It did go on. But you time. got it. So let me go up on the roof. Okay. And we'll get her done. All right. Get her done. <laughs> Fuck. You gotta love it. Okay. All right, I'm gonna try to back up a little bit. Without pushing his fucking garage door in. It's a blotty. It's a blotty fucking mess in there. Yeah. Fuck. 
This roll, this is my go-to. get set up on the roof I'm gonna get up here and knock this out is that water still in the sink I put some more in if you want me to yeah keep it keep it full and then let me know when it starts to go down yeah I will do that well you've been up here before you can probably remember yeah and uh, That thing's really low to the roof. I'm sorry? I said it's really low uh -huh. to the roof. Yeah. It's supposed to be at least six inches above. This was up north, it'd have to be three feet above yeah, for frost was, closure. Yeah, because of the snow and everything. Yeah. Well, we keep the screens over those things. We had a flying squirrel in our attic uh, last week. That was last problem. week. Yeah. Holy so shit! There's this guy, Eric Miller. Yeah, he does. Uh, He's a wildlife guy. I saw his truck. Yeah, we, we had him here several days. So he had to put new screens. I have put polyurethane foam in a little crevice of, uh, next to the roof and. And so he put screen over that. Heads up. Oh dear, oh dear. I think we just lost something. Oh dear. Just lost my tool. Here, I, I got it. Hate when that happens. <sighs> but anyway, he caught it in a trap and he said he was going to release it. Huh, somewhere. Uh, he's going to release it into his oven. Well, he said he was going to release it somewhere far away from us. Hey, don't you don't need to come up, Jim. I'm just going to bring you. No, hands. I don't need them. You sure? Yep. You I'm positive. Put it up here? Don't need them. Okay. Yeah. That the cable soaked. Go ahead in there and turn that water on. Okay.
Hey, Jim. Yeah, it's draining a little, but it's still not draining. Really. No, okay, I'm gonna run some more cable. Uh, I'm gonna check. Is it draining?
Hey, Jim! Jim! Still not draining. When they when they rerouted this stuff, what, do you remember where they went? Did they hug the building? I didn't reroute it. It just said a pipe broke in this wall, and then uh, they had to repair here, and they had to you know just dig through this uh, Mexican tile. Right, right because the pipe here. would have been on the outside of that, correct? Well, Okay, let me okay. keep running this. Many years ago. I'm having a hard time getting this head through this pipe. It's probably just two inch. Uh. And if it's old cast iron, that shit's built up like you wouldn't believe. guys so I got my got my homemade plunger okay I'm gonna give this a, a shot I know for one thing I gotta tell Candy she doesn't need to buy any napkins we got napkins coming out for the end game It's amazing what you find. Well, I don't work for napkins. <laughs> you know? Oh, darn it. <laughs> How about paper plates? No, I'm good. Thanks. You're good on that, too? Okay. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> yeah, you got a big issue here. Can you put your hand in there and hold that stopper down? Yeah. Just hold it down tight. Okay. See, the, the fact that I can do this okay. up and down is telling me that it's in the stack. Uh -huh. But I can't get my cable through. Hmm. All right. Hmm, Take that way. out of there. Okay, you, I got another plunger. You want me to no, get another no, plunger? No, no, no. This plunger is the mech daddy of all plungers. I, I invented that. I was going to say. Looks good. So <laughs> let me... Okay. I'm going to change the head on the cable. Okay. Try to put a smaller head and see if I can get around the corner or whatever I stopped at and can't get through. This one's a mess, guys. I think they ran the kitchen line around the house, tied into the septic tank. It probably has no fall. And it's only a two inch pipe, which is a disaster. All right, guys, so I'm going to put this spring head on. Uh, I'd rather not have this little retriever part because if that gets down in a crack on cast iron, it's just going to cause problems. But 
I don't know where my other head is. I cut this off on one head, but I'm going to take the head off that's on the cable now, which is a sand type grease head, but it opens up two inch pipe. Great. Uh, I'm going to put this on and run it through and see if I can't get more more cable in there. I ran, you know, I used the plunger and the fact that I can plunge the water in the sink and it's just going up the stack and back down, up the stack and down. That's telling me the, the problem is under the slab. So Here we go now. It's fucking Saturday. Hey Jim. Hey Jim. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Did I you get see it. that thing that dropped? Yeah, I know what it is. <laughs> Your cables together with. Yeah, it's the key. Yeah. <sighs> there you go. Thank you. <laughs> Ah. <sighs> 
huh? It went down. Run that water. Keep it running, and I'm gonna pull it back and run it right through again. Supposedly it went down. So let's go see. Did you fill them both up again? Let's do that. All right. So it's 250, and with your help, uh, with you helping me, I'll no, I'll know. just there, add there. another 25. So oh, yeah, there you go. I was gonna say. All right. <laughs> I, I knew that was coming. Well, now you, you walked right you into that one. Look at the, the drain that you worked on before. Uh, it's working, but I wanted to. You said you were going to need to use the jetter. On yeah, it. I don't have that with me. Oh, that's okay. Don't worry about it. Then. We'll have it's, to catch it some other time. time. Here's another question Kay keeps asking me. Okay, how, what's this black? It's just mold that grows on the in the uh, caulking. So it's silicone. Well, At least it should be. Well, I don't know. If it, who put it in? The countertop people? Uh, I can't remember who did it. Uh, did you have to have a plumber, Terry, or somebody? Can't even remember. Well, fill that up. I'm yeah, gonna fill okay, them up. Okay, okay. Uh, well, so uh, I mean, just recalk it, or what do we well, I gotta look at it because you can't just recalk it. It's just it's all dirty and yeah. wet. Yeah. It needs to be cleaned out first. Yeah, I know. And dried. So you have to use a, some a pick. A pick. I'll give you a couple picks if you want to okay. play with it for an hour. Because <laughs> it takes time. It's a yeah. lot of time, you know? Yeah, sure. Honestly. Well, I, I, was, I didn't want to damage the darn thing. Yeah. No, you won't. But you got to take a pick and scrape all well, that met, stuff a metal, out. A metal pick. Yep. Okay. Like a dental pick and uh, scrape it all out all the way around. Well, this looks good. I mean, I can feel the caulking in there. Uh huh. But this is a cast iron sink. They're very heavy, and if it's not mounted properly, yeah, it'll start to pull away from that countertop. Yeah, we don't want that to happen. No, because it'll be on the floor when you come up and yeah. walk out in the morning. Right. I mean, like that. So. Damn, it's just not as all right, let me just go. It's all these modern conveniences, you know? Yeah. Under counter mount sink. Ooh. Yeah. Well, there's an advantage and disadvantage. At least you don't have the, the lip. talking around the lip. Yeah. So, oh boy, one thing or another, isn't it?
If anybody's wondering how you make this, okay, I'll show you how strong this is. See that suction? Yeah. Wow. That's and what it does is it pulls the stoppage back. Yeah. And then pushes it, it in. Yeah, it does. Yeah. So, so it's so much better than just a regular plunger. Yeah, and it's got two feet of of throw. I mean, look yeah. at the suction. That is good. Yeah. That was going to get me on shock tank, and then I realized oh. they were a bunch of shocks. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't want to be swimming with them. You don't want to be swimming with the shark tank people? No. No, I don't blame you. I'm just a little guppy. <laughs> Jim, do you have any uh, you know you all those bottle things are of water? Big. Empty bottle of water? No, I want a bottle of water to drink. I've got plenty of bottles of water. Yeah, I'm dying of thirst how here. About, how about two bottles of two bottles? Yeah, I'll take two or three. I just sweat out about ten pounds. You gotta love Florida in August and September. It's like walking around in a rainstorm without the rain. 98% humidity. Say it, guys. Just shut up and move away. Either shut up or put up. Yeah. 50 mile an hour winds. You know, it's like a hurricane. That's because they elected a Democrat up there. <laughs> Now, Murkowski is a Republican. <laughs> uh, yeah, that blow, you know, they only had one congressman who just died at dawn. Now he's been there for 50 yeah, years. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and uh, Sarah, what's her name? Uh, I think uh, it's Sarah Payne in the ass. Yeah, right? Sarah, yeah Sarah, that's Sarah, it. Sarah Barracuda. They used to call her Sarah Barracuda. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she's running for that seat. Sarah Blowfish. Yeah. <laughs> Sarah Palin. Yes. Yep. She thought she was gonna waltz in there and get on get on the payroll. There's an Eskimo lady that's leading in that race coming up. Is she a Democrat? Yeah. Yeah, I know. God bless her. I hope she wins. Corrupt ass Republicans. I hate them. I know you do. How do you know? How could you tell? We saw that great big sign about the gun. I was gonna say, did, did you yeah, get any crowd boys coming after you, John? Yeah, I'm not a, I'm not a big gun guy either. I know. <laughs> yeah, I, you know, so uh, I put that sign up, and then I had to crawl from my bedroom into the kitchen to get my coffee, just in case I got some incoming fire. Yeah, you know? I was gonna say. <laughs> I got oh, one guy your AK-47 ready there. No, I don't. I have a BB gun. If I'm pretty good shot with it, it'll take out somebody's eye with it or something. But uh, yeah, there's a guy across the street who drives a Harley Davidson, and he's just an angry man. Now you know, I've never seen him smile. I've never seen him wave or anything. Yeah. He is sad. He's sad. Oh, dear, dear, dear. Uh, ladies, let's see, hopefully this is going to go down. Takes a long time to finish fix, uh, fill this sink up, man. Yeah. That's Holy okay. guacamole. I don't know why. It seems like you've got good pressure. Maybe more is dripping out than going in the bowl. Well, that's Or just a little bit less. Alright, that's all that's we're going to do. She's training. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You still have the cable in? in the no, line? I pulled everything oh, oh, you out. Did couple, uh, did you did pull it out. Oh, okay. oh, actually, I think it's it may be in there with the spring head on it, but the water washes right through the cable. Okay. That's a lot of water, though. I mean, it, it doesn't look like much, but it's probably 10 gallons, you know? Uh-huh. Yeah. All right, my yeah. friend, you're all set here. Okay, very good, John. I'll get you your check there. Got some, something rattling under here. Anyways, I'm all done here. 
with this uh with this sewer stoppage it's uh it's really hot down here today and i'm just too old man i can't fucking do it like i used to i just can't deal with the heat uh so i have to be cautious of what i take and when i take it but anyways i got them going i got a little jetter attachment from i use my pressure cleaner and i got a jet 150 feet of jetter hose and a little jumper cable so that i can i can jet he needs the jet he put an addition on this house and i think because it was on a septic tank they had no fall on this shit. you know they were tying into what was there and he went a long distance so the pipe's probably just cracking and uh it's got getting built up every time he has one of his sons come come by for a week or two the place backs up and uh so i'm going to get him on the schedule for next week for uh jetter service and camera and get that cleaned out for him and then he also needs that cast iron sink in the kitchen seems to be pulling away from that countertop a little bit uh you know it's a cast iron sink they're heavy as fuck and uh typically these these granite guys they're great at putting a stainless steel one in you know because it's so light but these cast iron they get complicated and uh it really needs to be anchored extra tight and that's probably not the case they probably did some fucking goofy installation but it takes a lot of time to dig out that caulking and actually dry the uh, sur the surface off, clean it and dry it so that you can re-caulk it so that it actually works. Um, so he wants that done too, but I, I don't like doing it to be honest with you. I'd rather not, but uh, I'll give it a shot for him again. I've, I've done it in the past, but I'll help him out. He's my neighbor. He's funny as shit. One of his kids looks just like him fucking captain kangaroo anyways have a great day guys